Today I'm going to show you guys some of the best hidden bases in Minecraft. Prepare to be amazed as I take you on a journey through secret passages, hidden redstone contraptions, and insane complex security systems. And stay tuned till the end of the video to see the craziest hidden base I've ever witnessed. Now here's the deal. There's tons of ways you can hide underground bases. You can put them behind a random wall. You can put them under a tree. You can even go as far as making a redstone contraption to hide your base. My underground base is very simple. It's actually right behind me. If some of you guys guessed the waterfall, you are right. There is a slot right here in the waterfall that will bring us down into this massive underground base. I know, I know, I know. It's really ugly. Look, it's, it's, it's disgusting. This is, this isn't even a base. You guys are probably like unspeakable. I thought I was going to see a missile and a tank in here. No, no, no. Look, I'm going to teach you guys how to transform this giant hole that's just in the earth into something beautiful to where you can actually live in it. So step number one is obviously to make a hole. Now the hole that you make underground can be as big as you want or as small as you want. So once you got an area dug out, we're going to go ahead and replace the entire floor with grass. Oh man, this is going to take a while. And I'm in creative mode. Oh, this is going to be a bit. Guys, leave a like because my finger is going to hurt by the end of this video. Okay, that took forever. W way too long. If you want to make an underground base, I wouldn't recommend making one this big unless you got a lot of time on your hands. I got a lot of time on my hands. Anyways, let's move on to step number two. Step number two is we are going to make a second story. Now, I'm not actually going to use the entire base. I'm only going to use uh, probably about half of it. I'm going to go to about right now. We'll go back a little bit more. Okay, so now the second story could have a lot of things. It could have a hangout spot. It could have a bedroom. It could have a bathroom. It could have a lounge area. It could have chess or organization. It could have a wardrobe, closet, armor. Now you don't have to use quartz block. You can use pretty much whatever you want. I'm going to change the walls just so I can show you guys what it looks like. Ready? Boom. Just like that. All the walls and the ceiling just changed. And you can see how it kind of gives a different vibe. It, it kind of looks like we're in a bunker now. But that's the thing is I don't want this base to feel like a bunker. I personally don't like underground bases that feel like you're trapped. And I don't know, like this just doesn't look good to me. So we're going to do some things to spice it up and make this underground base modernized and really, really nice. Like a fish tank, lava in the walls, a lot of cool things that bring out life into the walls. And that's another reason why I use the grass and that's because we're gonna grow plants here we're going to put a pond over there it's gonna look really nice guys so let's go ahead and focus on the lava wall first this entire wall i'm gonna make out of lava and it's gonna be all up and down and the reason i'm doing lava is because it's also going to provide a really big light source as well because underground bases especially one of this size can get really really dark see this dark corner over here so doing lava will make it look awesome but also give you some really good lighting also guys remember when making this base to completely make it your own. You can make it whatever you want it to be. If you don't want a lava wall, don't do a lava wall. If you don't want grass on the ground, don't do grass on the ground. This is your Minecraft world and you should be able to build whatever your heart desires. Wow, that actually looks really good. Check it out. The lava wall is complete. That looks so, so cool. I am in love with it. All right, let's go ahead and finish out our second story here and also add a pretty cool set of stairs. We're gonna do these slabs all the way down just to give it kind of like a 3D effect when you look at it. Mm, yeah, that looks nice. And then I'm gonna do massive staircases on the side. We're gonna go about four blocks wide. Oh yeah, that looks so good. So we can walk right upstairs. We're gonna do another one on the other side as well. Woo! Check that out. That looks sweet. And I'm gonna dig up the ground right here because we are gonna make a big old pond. When you have an underground base this size, you have room to just mess around and make cool stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. In my opinion, the best way to build a pond in Minecraft is to kind of dig out the hole that you want. You know, take a look at it, be like, is that, is that, is that what I want? Maybe, maybe a little bit of that there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And then go ahead and fill the entire pond with water. Make sure it's completely full. There you go, just like so. And then we can go ahead and dig it out and make it a little bit deeper. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks so good. This is awesome. Let's spice this pond up and add a little bit of detail to it. There we go, just like that. Our pond is finally looking a little bit better than it did before. Before it looks really plain, now it looks awesome. It's really simple what I did. All I did is just place down some trapdoors 
floors to make this kind of look like a dock. Put in some lily pads. I put some lanterns on fence posts. Put some sugar cane and bamboo. And then I also built like a little rock over here. Once your pond is all done, go ahead and drop some fish inside so you actually have something swimming in the pond. No one wants an empty pond. There we go. That is so cool. Now we have our very own pond in our underground base. So now let's talk about lighting for your underground base. You don't want to just set torches everywhere. It looks kind of ugly. And you also can't use lava to light the entire base. So my best solution for you is either one, to do ceiling lights just like that, or do hanging lights, which I think are really cool. So what you can do is you can just throw down a bunch of random fence posts, all at random lengths and all at random areas. So this one's going to be three. This one's going to be two. I'll make, you know what? Let's go a little crazy with this one. Let's make this one four. Now what you're going to do is you're going to attach either glowstone or you can attach sea lanterns to the bottom of them. Personally, they both look great. It's just up to your preference. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? I feel like we're missing one right about here. We'll do two blocks down on this one. There we go. That looks so good. And it's not just like a bunch of random ceiling lights. It adds some character to the ceiling and all that blank area that's up there. We're going to continue adding more stuff into the walls of the base because that is personally my favorite thing. And I don't want to look at these big blank stone walls. Like This is just lame. So let's build a fish tank. Not just a small one a big one. So I dug a giant hole in the wall and I pretty much filled all the walls with sand and I did sandstone for the ceiling because, well, sand does does not float. So first we're going to start with making piles of sand because you don't want just a normal, boring, just like, like that. No, no, no. There we go. Look at that. That's so cool. All right. And we'll build another kind of small one right here. There we go. And that should be good. Now we don't want to overdo it. I feel like that's pretty good. Maybe we might just extend this one out just a little bit. Let's also go ahead and get some lights in the tank. So not a lot of people do lights in their fish tank, but I would recommend it. It's pretty cool. Now I'm going to have some chains dropping down from the ceiling. I think it'd be cool if we had like a chain dropping down. Honestly, let's just have the chain go ahead and go all the way down. Then maybe we can have another one that's like holding something. Ooh, what if it's what if it's holding a skull? Can we do that? Ah, uh, it doesn't really look too realistic. Okay, well, we'll still use some skulls. We'll just put them on the ground here. Your next step would be to throw up some glass and get some water in there as well so we can start putting some coral in there and some fish. There we go. Now, since we got water in here, we can kind of see what it looks like. And I'm honestly not really liking the chains too much. Uh, I think we're going to remove them just because there's like a big pocket of air around them. Also, you want to fix any other pockets of air, like the ones probably below the light and whatnot. Okay, now this is looking good. But let's go ahead and add tons of different coral in here. This is going to make the place look super, super nice. Very, very colorful. You can even put these on the wall as well, guys. Don't forget. Just make this place seem like it's just thriving with coral. We're going to do some kelp as well, and we can let that grow over time, and it's going to look so, so good. And then let's go ahead and add in our fish. We're going to do a ton of puffer fish, a ton of salmon, a ton of cod, and of course, a ton of of tropical fish, even more tropical fish than any. Let's go ahead and spam it and let them come to life. Wow, that looks so good. We have a massive fish tank in the wall. That is so, so sick. That is going to do it for part one of the underground base. Now, I know there is a lot of uncompleted stuff, and that's why we're going to finish it in part two. So leave a like if you want to see part two. But also, guys, keep in mind that you can make this base whatever you want. So under here, you could do a kitchen. You could do chess organization. You could do an armory. You could do a railway system that goes down into the caves. You could literally do anything. I have so many ideas and I can't wait to share them with you guys, but we're going to turn this place into an awesome underground base, if not one of the best out there. You need to pick a place where you want to make your bedrock base. I think we're going to make it over here next to a village. I feel like that's somewhat secretive. Next thing you want to do is take your pickaxe and dig all the way down to bedrock level because you're going to need some bedrock. And yes, this pickaxe can indeed break bedrock. This pickaxe, don't underestimate. And yes, this is all vanilla Minecraft. Like I said, like I said, a friend are ever trolling you minecraft giving you a hard time or maybe you just hate creepers or maybe you just want a bedrock base put in these two commands and you'll have this awesome base and look at that we are at bedrock level but you guys are probably like wait unspeakable that's hay bales <laughs> that ain't bedrock well it actually is bedrock these hay bales right here are actually bedrock if we switch off of the pickaxe um well actually there's still there's still hay bales you are not hay bales you are bedrock 
If we switch off the pickaxe, you can see that this is bedrock. I cannot break this with my fist, no matter how hard I try. But if we switch over to the bedrock pickaxe, it turns into hay bales and basically allows us to break it, which is absolutely hilarious. Imagine being like, yeah, <laughs> got some hay bales. <laughs> it's actually bedrock. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Oh, geez. I'm just so glad that bedrock is so much easier to break than obsidian. Oh my gosh. Obsidian can just go like, just go be obsidian. You know, whatever, man. Like, whatever. Oh, that's the end of the world. That's awkward. Yeah, you can dig through the world. That is a possibility that, yep, indeed is a possibility. Once you have enough bedrock in your inventory or hay bales, you can go up and build your secret base and get started. Now, I would recommend building this base underground, hence why it's secret and bedrock and impossible to break into. But if you do want to build it above ground, you can do so if, if, if that's what your heart desires. Our bedrock base has been built right under here. If we go ahead and hop over into game mode three, you guys can go under and see there's a little tiny bedrock base here and everything is completely covered up. Now, the way to get into this base is ridiculous. I mean, you covered this thing in bedrock, like you can't get into it unless you use the pickaxe again. Now, the way you get into it is you spawn this entrance block right above it. You're gonna see a little enderman pop up and the way you enter it is, I mean, you can't walk over it, you can't see it, but if you pull out an Eye of Ender, you can actually see a bunch of little numbers, kind of like what you would get from an enchantment table. Now, what you have to do to get into it is you can't walk up to it, you can't click it, you can't throw the Eye of Ender. Oh, I'm gonna need you back, buddy. Please come here. Oh, did you really have to spawn up there? I'm gonna have to walk around now. Yeah, don't lose your Eye of Ender. It's, it's a pretty terrible feeling. The way you get into this base, look at this. You have to be in F5 mode, but not this F5. You have to be looking at yourself. You have to be backwards. You have to be crouched, holding the Eye of Ender, and back into it. And then you will get teleported into the base. Yes, that is the only way. Oh, look, there's a ton of hay bales right here. <laughs> are those still better? Wait, why are those actual hay, hay bales? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to repair this, but I, I promise everything will be bedrock soon. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. What? What is happening? Oh, what? Wait, what? Anyways, ignore all the hay bales. They're actually bedrock. See, look, those other hay bales that were right there just turned into bedrock. It's just, it's just all a scam. Anyways, let's check out some awesome items that we have because we have some crazy stuff. So we have an altar. This is actually really cool. This is an altar that allows us to regenerate if we get below two hearts. If we get below two hearts, it actually gives us a golden apple. Here we have a cactus. And if we sit on the cactus for a second, wait for it to get below two hearts. There we go. Look at that. There's a gold an apple sitting right there where we can walk up to it and we can take it and eat it that is so cool and it never runs out of golden apples that's the best part about it the next thing we have is a super furnace now this is a furnace that never isn't ignited so you can put thousands of blocks of food iron gold whatever you want to put in here and it will never you lose its fire you'll never have to put coal in it you'll never have to put anything in it it will always do stuff for it. Like, that. that is so cool. That is much very needed. But as if it doesn't get better than that, we got a nuke. A nuke! Guys, check this out. Okay, so we press the button, and you only have about 10 seconds to decide where the nuke is going to be. Did I just die? Wait, what? What just happened? Did I walk off the... Okay, well, you have to select where the nuke lands, and then all of a sudden, a nuke will... Uh, let me show you guys the nuke. Uh, there, where's the nuke? Where's the nuke? Is it falling? Has it fallen yet? Oh, there it is. Look, we missed it. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll try it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was a terrible example. Let me try again. So you press this button and then you choose where the nuke, where you want the nuke to fall. And then you stay there. You have about 10 seconds to choose the location. So let's say we want it to drop right here. Give it a second. And there it is. Look at that. Now you can fire the nuke as many times as you want. So I can go up to it press the button again, and I can fire it again. Oh, whoops, I accidentally shifted, which means it blew up right there. That's awkward. Yeah, so if you go into the nuke, and then let's say you fly over, and then if you don't want to wait the 10 seconds, you can just press shift, and it will pretty much launch, launch it uh, instantly right into the ground. That is so cool. All right, back to our secret base, just to prove to you guys how accurate this entrance is. Look, I'll go into F5. I'll try this. Look, it won't let me in. It will not. Oh, wait, it will let me in. I was I was trying to make a fool of you guys. You don't actually have to go in F5 and look at yourself. You got, 
You, you, you just have to be an F5. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just be an F5 and you'll be good. Our next one is a super enchantment table. This one's actually really cool. We might need a little bit more room for this one. If we spawn this enchantment table in, um, you actually have two sides to it. So you see the little green particles and then there's a the little red particles as well. If you go up to the green particles and you crouch, it actually builds the enchantment books around you. That is crazy. Now, unfortunately, this enchantment table doesn't have like infinite lapis or anything like the furnace. That's all it does is it builds the books around you. Now, if you want to remove some, you can come over to the red, hit crouch as well, and it can remove some. Then you can stop crouching whenever you want to. So if you don't want a very powerful enchantment, you can stop the books right there. Or you can make them go to less, stop it right there. Maybe you only want one book. You can basically control how many books you want in the enchantment table. I think that is so, so cool. And if you keep holding shift down, it doesn't stack the books or anything. That's as many books as you can get. And then coming over here, you can just crouch again and remove them all. I think that is so awesome. For the very last item, we have an alarm. Now this can be used to let you know if there's intruders coming near your base or maybe even mobs. So if you place this down, you're going to get kind of a dark block with an end rod on top. Now, if you place another one down, you actually get kind of of an enderman that spawns which is basically a sensor so we can spawn a couple of these and you kind of get sensors apparently if a mob gets within like 20 blocks of that sensor or something like that then the alarm will sound and you will be pretty much known that there's someone near your base so pig uh, let me use you as an example let me see if i can spawn some pigs over here i don't remember where i put that siren thing look that siren's going off right there look at that see so it doesn't actually make any noise, which is kind of weird because it's, a, it's an alarm and it's supposed to make noise. But the good thing is, is you can put this thing in your base. So you can put it down in your base. And then if you see this, that means there is a mob or a player within 20 blocks of your siren, wherever you put it. I personally think it's really cool. I'm kind of glad it doesn't make noise because if it did make noise, then whoever was near your siren could kind of listen to the noise and trace it to your base. So that's kind of good and bad. It's good that it doesn't make noise because it's very low key, um, but it's bad that it doesn't make noise because the siren is supposed to make noise. But it's good because it protects you. It keeps you safe and it, you know, it doesn't make any loud noises. That is pretty much gonna wrap it up for the underground base video. And I think that is one of the best underground bases you can have in your Minecraft world. You can do this all in vanilla survival. You don't need any special mobs, any special things. Like, I mean, obviously you need the command block and stuff, but other than that, you don't need anything else. And by the way, that big command block thing, you can hide that underground if you want. You can hide it like in a mountain. You can hide it in a tree. I don't know how you would hide it in a tree, but you can do that. But I'm just saying, don't leave that giant command block structure out in the open because if someone sees that, they're probably going to know that something fishy is going on. But seriously, out of all the underground bases, I think this is the best one you can build because you can actually use bedrock. You have nuke, you have protection. You have so many things to protect and help you. And it has the best secret entrance, in my opinion. I mean... Who would ever think to walk up to a, just a random grass block holding an eye of ender and it makes you go into a secret base? I was thinking of making two secret bases. Uh, one in the lava. I did a video a couple of weeks ago, or actually I think it was over a month ago, of this lava base where you had to have a fishing rod in order to get into it. You throw the fishing rod in the lava and it opens up the secret passageway. We're going to be... Ah! Are you serious? Okay. Anyways, what I was saying is we're going to be doing that, but we're also going to be doing a hidden tree base where we hide our base under a tree. But the problem is, is I don't know what tree I want to pick. I want to pick one close to our base, but not too close. So let's do... Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Should we do a birchwood tree? I think a birchwood tree would be pretty cool. Um, Or what if we did the mushroom? No, that's too, that's too obvious. Just the mushroom sitting there. That's too obvious. Let's do like a tree like, not this tree. Um, well, actually, this tree isn't a bad option. No, that's a terrible option. Unspeakable, what are you thinking of? Okay, so we're going to do one of the trees over here that's in completely flat ground. I can't believe a creeper just blew up our farm. I, I cannot believe that just happened. Uh, we're going to do like this tree. This looks good. Okay, so let's grab our shovel. Mouse, you, do you want to work? Please work. Thank you very much. And we're basically just going to dig up this area under the tree and 
We're gonna make a hidden base. I have a couple designs that I want to try on this base. What I want to do with the base is I want to turn it into a place where we store some of our secret stuff, like all the diamonds. I also want to turn it into a place where we enchant things, where we brew things. Um, I might put a nether portal in here. I'm thinking about it. I think that's a good idea, but I'm not sure. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to clear out this whole entire area. I'm going to skip this in a second after I'm done rumbling. Because, you know, you guys just love me talking all day. All they do is talk. I never stop talking. I just keep talking. I never stop talking. I never stop talking. I'm just going to clear out this massive base as much as I can. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually going to skip it. Wow, look at that. Look at that. We're done. That, was, that only took a second. Literally a second. Under a second. This is taking me me talking right now is taking longer than a second technology is a great thing I will tell you that but there's a couple pieces of coal that are out here. I think that's the top is that the top is that the? Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna cover this up real quick do, 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 do it. You didn't see anything but guys, this is the start of our secret little base it's going to be a big base, though. It's not going to be a little for long. But, um, so what I want to do is in the main room right here, this is going to be the main room, and it's going to branch off to, like, three or four other rooms. Um, and we're all going to do this episode. We're all going to do this episode, hopefully. Hopefully, if we have enough time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to branch apart down like this, uh, so we can create a ladder going back up, obviously, because we need a way out of this place. Um, and the way we're gonna block it off is here. I'll show you guys Let me actually create a ladder real quick or a couple ladders. I think 14 ladders should do the trick So let's do one two three. Okay, and then we'll just keep going up here And is it already getting dark outside? I think it is it indeed is but the way we're gonna get out of here is not like that Um, we're going to block up the area when we're done We're gonna take off the ladders and just uh, kind of like crawl out and then eventually we'll replace the grass That's how we're gonna do it for now. Um, because we don't have all the advanced redstone uh, in, in this version of Minecraft. So what we're going to do is later in the series, what I plan to do is I plan to update it as we go along. As long as you guys are showing the support and you guys are enjoying the series, then what I plan to do is in maybe, I don't know, we're on episode eight right now or seven or no, we're on eight or nine or 10. I don't know what one of those episodes, but maybe by episode like 25, I'll update the version to like 1.5 or 1.6 or 1.7 or something like that. That was one thing I did consider doing. And it sounds pretty awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to craft. I don't even know. What, what should we craft? We need a cool flooring block. We're going to do stone slabs. This is going to take a lot of coal to do, but we're going to do it. We're going to get it done. So let's start smelting. Oh, I can't. I can't shift click. I, I keep forgetting that. So we're going to craft a couple of furnaces and we're going to go down and get a bunch of coal because we're going to craft stones, not the normal stone slabs. The uh, you, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Not just like the normal, um, not like um, what here. Let me show you an example. Not those. It's the other stone slabs. I think they're called stone slabs. I don't know. It's like the grayish ones. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. You guys will see in a second. It's the ones that you craft with the smelted stone here. When I get when I get this third one, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, just for, because I think they're called stone slabs to be correct because I think these are called yeah These are called cobblestone slabs and then these are called just stone slabs So those that's what I want to do for the flooring because I think that's gonna look really really good But we're gonna get another furnace here and I'm going to go down Back into our secret base because there's some coal there I'm gonna pick up some more coal and I'm gonna start smelting all this stuff We've actually gotten quite a bit of coal. There was more in that little place than I expected. There was 20 pieces? What? It was really that much? I thought I was gonna get like 10. I haven't even checked my inventory. I just mined up all the coal. Uh, 20 pieces. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so, uh, we're probably gonna make a third furnace too. I don't know how many of these blocks we need, these stone slabs, um, because we're gonna be doing that one room, but we're also going to be doing the other rooms that we create. Uh, so let's probably make, let's make another furnace. Um, and then we're gonna split up all this smelting. Oh my gosh, I got so much stuff in my inventory. We'll place the other furnace right here. And then let's split this coal. Let's throw, oh, you can't shift click. I forget it every time, every time it gets me. Um, and then let's try, grab 64. And then let's start smelting all this stuff. We're gonna have a ton of stone slabs. That's going to be all the flooring of our secret base. Cause I want the secret base to not only be secret, obviously, but I want it to be super nice too. Super fancy, super high class. When you go in there, you're gonna be like, dang, this is a base. While we are waiting for all this stuff to smelt, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna start creating more rooms. So that's gonna be where we come down. I don't know what I wanna put behind that. Cause it's just awkward. You know, it's in the middle of the base. It's just a random staircase in the middle or a uh, ladder in the middle of the base. So I don't know. What I want to do with that yet, but I will get to it. I hear a skeleton up there, um, but let's do another base going straight out. No, I, I don't think we can go this way because I think that nether portal 
is right out that way. To be exact. Because every time, when I, when I mined up this coal, listen. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's, let's just see. Let's just mine a little farther. See, you hear it? It's the nether portal. The nether portal is out there. So, I just don't know how far we can go. Because I, I don't want to... Well, actually, we're going to move the nether portal. So, I think it's going to be okay. We're going to move it anyway. So, yeah, it, it's going to be fine. Um, So, let's go ahead and mine up a little room that we can put some cool stuff in we have a little room right here no lighting uh yet actually let me grab a torch and place it right there there we go uh this is just the area we mined up where the coal was we'll fix that in a second but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the whole like surrounding the, all the walls uh and i don't know about the ceiling the ceiling i'll probably leave stone but all the walls i want to do wood i think that would be really cool and it would be a nice touch to our stone slabs as the flooring so i'm gonna go do that and I will be right back, and we will be remodeled, all our stone will be done smelting, and we will get into creating the secret base. Change of plans, I decided to go with a little bit different of an aspect. I decided to do wood and cobblestone. I think that looks really cool. I like it. It's going to look a lot better when the flooring's done, and we're also going to do for the ceiling, we're going to do, I think we're... Uh, what was it called glowstone glowstone i totally just my brain just went completely dead for a second but we're gonna do glowstone as the ceiling so let's go up here let's see if this stuff is done smelting i don't think it is about halfway done okay um and we're gonna grab where's the oh no 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 we're gonna grab the glowstone and if i'm correct i think it's four to craft the glowstone four yes okay so we're gonna do uh i want to say six lights uh Four in the main room and then two in the other room the way i'm going to do the lighting is i'm going to go one two diagonal and then the third one i'm going to mine out so one two and then mine out this one and then one two and then mine out this one so you can see it's uneven with the ladder i don't like that uh but i think i i have kind of an idea to fix it but if we throw this glowstone in here and then let's say we remove the torches. How? Okay, it's the lighting's pretty good. It's decent. It's not the greatest. Uh, but when we upgrade to a new, the newer Minecraft version, we can do like redstone lamps because I'm pretty sure there's not redstone lamps in 1.0.0. If there is, then I apologize for being wrong. But for now, we'll leave this room alone because I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I just want to focus on the main room for now. But now I think we're gonna go back up. We're going to grab all our stone and we're going to start making the floor. But I hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching through. If you're watching this right now, if you're listening to me right now, if you're like watching this right now, like, like, I, what am I saying? I just want to thank you guys. It's crazy. I just want to thank you guys so much for all the crazy support, everything. It's insane. I need to empty some of these blocks for my inventory. I'm going to empty out this cobblestone, all this cobblestone. And we're going to take all of this. And then take this. And then now comes the fun part. Crafting. Crafting. Actually, it's not going to be that hard. Because we can just drop them all in here and be like, bam. What I'm talking about. And then bam. Bam. And then we're almost done here. Okay. So, we got 64 and 46. Almost three stacks. I think once all this other stuff is done smelting, we'll have uh, three full stacks. But we have... What are these called? These are, these are called stone slabs. Okay. I think we, we already established that, though. But, I, okay. Time to tear up this flooring and install stone slab flooring. I will be right back. Okay, so this is not good. So we can actually not place the slabs on the top layer of the block. Because usually in the future versions of... Or in the... What was that sound? Anyways, in the future versions of Minecraft, you can place the slab on top of the block. Like on the top layer of the block. I'm sure you guys know that. But I, I cannot just... It, it just does not place on top of the block. So we're going to have to just... I, I can't even... Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's remove this. Let's see if... See, and then if I try to remove the bottom one, it's just going to remove the whole block. So, ooh, okay, this is not good. So that means we're just going to use double the amount of slabs just to make this flooring. But, hey, it's going to look good, or at least I hope it is. Oh, my gosh, this is going to be a lot of blocks. Are we going to have enough? Are we going to have enough? Ooh, it's getting close. 23. Oh, my gosh. Are, I think, uh, oh, okay, I thought I missed that section over there. Okay, so we did have enough. That took a lot, though. Almost three full stacks just to do this room. But, oh boy, does it look good. It looks awesome. Just wait till we move on to the future versions of Minecraft. And we do, like, quartz for the... Oh, I hit my microphone. We do, like, quartz for the ceiling or something like that. That's going to be so cool. But what I'm thinking about doing for this is how about a spiral staircase? That's what I'm thinking about doing. So, what if we could do... 
Uh, wait, no, we can't because you can only place it. Wait, no, I think we got this. I think we got this. Hold on. So, let's say we do this. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, la, 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 la. oh I don't know. This is so ugly. What is this? No. Uh, let's grab these. Let's fill this block up. Okay, so we can't make a spiral staircase. It's just not going to work. I tried doing this, but oh my gosh, that is just so ugly. Like, what is that? Um, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, feel free to comment them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'm gonna try, gonna try to think of something between the episodes to fix that. But we'll focus on that later. But as of right now, we're going to go on the other side, grab our nether portal, and I think we're gonna put it in this room, and then we'll make it like an enchanting room over there. Actually, let's just let's just hollow out the areas where we want the rooms to be. That's even. Yep. Okay. So this is going to be another room, and then we'll go. Where's like the middle? This kind of looks like the middle. Yeah, that looks like the middle. Okay, and then we'll haul out this area. That's going to be another room. And then we'll label them. So let's go ahead and create some signs. So I want to do brewing, br no, brewing, nether, and enchanting. There we go, our three rooms. And then the main room is just going to be like, there's gonna be chest everywhere. There's going to be just like anvils and just a bunch of random stuff. Oh, the old days, can't stack signs. Okay, so in this room, we are going to have, let's make it fancy, let's make it fancy, portal, oh no, we should do nether portal, nether, and then space down, uh, oh, I was about to say nether again, nether portal, is that how you spell portal, I hope so, I hope so, um, and then we're gonna do that, and then over here, we are going to do, I guess we'll make this one the enchanting room, so we'll do that, and then we'll do enchanting room, and then we'll do that. And then on the other one, what was the other one? Brewing room. Okay, so our last one is going to be the brewing room. Blah, blah, brewing room. <laughs> this is where going to be where we're going to store all the potion stuff, do all the brewing. So we'll do brewing room. There we go. Looking awesome, fancy. So the one thing I like about this is all the enchanting, all the brewing is going to be kept down here. And I like that because, for example, when we get back from the nether and we have the glowstone, the blaze rods, you know, all that stuff for uh, the brewing, we can just run right across the hallway and just could go in there and start brewing. And then right after we get all the XP and stuff, we can run right over there and start enchanting. So I really like how this room, I actually really liked how this turned out. Um, It's not that nice right now. I know, I'm gonna admit, it's not that nice right now, but it's definitely going to be improved. Guys, there is a hidden base, not necessarily under this lava, but the lava is the key to our entrance. Now, I'm also, after uh, I show you guys my base and stuff, I'm gonna give you guys a full tutorial on how to make it. And guys, it is so simple to make this base. Honestly, it's probably harder to find one of these lava pits than it is to make the base itself. But what you need to do is you need to have a, oh no, 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 stop it, stop it, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Okay, we're good. You need to have a fishing rod in hand, then go ahead and throw it in the lava. And what? Look at that. And then if you take it off, then it's going to close. But look, you can throw your fishing rod. In, uh, I think I missed. No, stop it. But throw your fishing rod in the lava and come, come on, come on. Uh, did I miss again? Did I, did I? Okay, okay. There we go. So let's go ahead and go into our secret base and then we can close it awesome so let's go down here then i have another door for an extra layer of security and it is a little dark in here apologies about that my brightness was actually on a moody but here is my secret base so we have a bunch of stuff over here you know enchantment tables anvils all the goodies uh we have my diamond armor set we have uh, all our ores in here we have our weapons and stuff in here and then we have um some more armor and more blocks and stuff in these chests and then i have an awesome wall over here that we have a redstone lamps behind i thought it was really cool i really really like the design then we got a crafting table jukebox then if we go in the other room uh this is kind of like the guest room i haven't really decorated it much yet i might throw a couple beds in here i'm not really sure but you guys kind of get the point of how this works but now let me show you how to build this in your very own minecraft world so lucky me there is another natural naturally spawning hidden lava pit right over here um, you guys necessarily don't have to find one that's natural although it does look more natural uh you know you can make a lava pit or you if you want to or you can go into a cave system and do this too that would actually be very interesting but once you find your lava pit or whatever uh go ahead and clear it out Okay. 
Okay, so after you cleared out your whole entire lava pit, the only thing you'll need to make the secret entrance is some pressure plates, some redstone, a redstone torch, and a sticky piston. So go ahead and select where you want uh, the pressure plates to be because wherever you put the pressure plates you have to kind of remember where they are because that's where you have to throw the fishing rod so i'm going to do uh i guess i'll do uh, i guess i'll do this area right here so once you have your little area go ahead and put down all your pressure plates you can do four by two or four by three or just two by two really doesn't matter totally up to you and then go ahead and carve out the surrounding area and once that is done, go ahead and place redstone all the way around the pressure plates. Once you're complete, it should look something like this. And then after that is done, you can actually cover up all the redstone. What? What are you doing? Get, get the heck out of here. Get the... Get... Get... Okay. Uh, you... All right. All right. Anyways, uh, next you want to have a little bit of an area open uh, because this is where you're going to lead your redstone because this is going to lead it to our sticky piston. So go ahead and carve out a little area. Okay. So I have carved out a pretty big area. You do not have to carve out one this big, but go ahead and lead your redstone into here and then place a block and then place a redstone torch. And then coming out of that redstone torch, go ahead and place your signal and then lead it to the sticky piston and like that's it that's literally it <laughs> that's all you have to do you are done so the way this works is um we put this down and I i'm sorry guys i'm bad at redstone i totally forgot what these are called it like inverts the signal or something like that um so basically the whole time the sticky piston is going to be pushed out and then whenever you step on the pressure plates for example it's going to pull the block out or pull the block in i should say but i, I don't know you kind of get the point so then go ahead and cover everything up and make it look like nothing happened okay so all that area is covered up and then go ahead and put all your lava back all our lava is put back Back into place and it looks like this area was not even touched it looks exactly the same uh, as it did before we messed with it but let's go ahead and throw our uh fishing rod in there and look at it it opens up a little area right here so then what you can do is you can dig all the way down here and make your little secret base now i'm actually going to cover up this area right there and then wow just Oh, it's so awesome. You know, you're just walking along here, having a nice day, throw your fishing rod in there, open your secret base, and bam, into paradise. But guys, that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. I figured I would share this creation with you because I think it's absolutely awesome. It's super simple, super easy to make. I mean, heck, it only took me a couple minutes to make this. Honestly, like I said in the beginning, I think it's harder to find a natural lava pit than it is to make this base and you or this hidden entrance to your base. Uh, but like, it's... It doesn't even take that many materials. I mean, like, you just need a couple pressure plates, a couple pieces of redstone, and the sticky piston. Like, that's it. Like, that's literally it. That's all you need. 